Make sure you don't miss any episodes. Like, follow, or subscribe on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. Or go to colintoast.com and click on Coffee and Cream with Colin. Speaking of which, on today's Coffee and Cream with Colin, I think this episode needs a little more time to rise before we bake it. Last time, we talked about trick foods, foods that play off the popularity of another food in order to gain acceptance. As troubling as that trend is, there is an even more sinister movement afoot. It's a movement that is riding on the coattails of actual health issues and is threatening a lot of good, innocent food. Our North American society has been health obsessed for a long time. Even back in the 80s, I can remember lots of talk about heart health and reducing various types of fat in order to improve one's heart health. Well, it turns out that most of the products that were supposed to help our hearts were actually bad for our hearts and everything else as well. But now we're in an all out war on gluten. I mean, no disrespect to people who are truly and genuinely gluten intolerant, but rather than just declaring gluten to be bad, shouldn't we take a closer look at why it seems to have become so bad in recent history? Breads of all shapes, sizes, and varieties have been an important staple in most cultures for millennia. But suddenly, seemingly in the last 10 to 15 years, it's been revealed that bread is actually an enemy that is trying to kill us. There's the gluten, there's the carbs, things that most of our ancestors presumably survived on. For much of world history, bread has been the one constant, the food that was available both to the masses and to the elite something that was available to anyone. It was relatively easy to prepare. The ingredients to make bread could easily be transported. And once made, bread usually could last without refrigeration much better than meat or produce. Now, bread is our enemy. How did this happen? And why is our society seemingly so eager to accept that bread is now our sworn enemy? Especially in this society that wants to be so sensitive to other cultures and viewpoints and ways of life, at the heart of my cultural identity is food, and at the heart of the food is bread. How has it become acceptable to attack people culturally in this manner? I'm troubled and dismayed. Next time, we'll look at something probably even more ubiquitous than bread, and perhaps the original trick food. <laughs>